in the top, and it's the reigning world champion. Miriam Nicole from France then leading the series as well. And look at her performance in that qualifying run, fast in the steep, the technical, and the fast parts of this track. Yeah, this is no slow rider coming down the hill today, Rob. And you're right, if she wanted to know, she will know. She'll know exactly what she has to give in her run today. And it looks like she's fast. Fast, committed into that. Big right hand and cuts that turn as well. Catches the end of that berm right on the edge there. Beautiful yeah. inside line no there. No problem for Nicole. It'll be very interesting to see her line in here. No, opting for the outside, pumping out of there. The speed looks to be Jump. there for Nicole. She looks fast to me. She's low, she's pushing, pumping, trained on her jumps. Worked yeah, so she's... hard on the jumps over the last few years. Had so many injuries actually on jumps. Yeah, Amazing. many injuries yeah. on jumps. Incredible. In so, Tony Seagrave with that 133. What's Miriam Nicole got for us? It's going to be faster, I think. Yes, by 1.31 then. So, Nicole leads now. This is going to be the winning run. A little bit of track to go, but so far she's riding amazing. She can tell she just has, she's got a little rainbow monkey with her. Yep. Helping her down. She's happy. She wanted that gold. She got it. And now she's showing us why she's the world champion. The winner here in 2017. Smashed qualifying by nearly five seconds. Won world championships last weekend by 4.8. Takes time out of everyone. Down through the Mercedes-Benz key section. Half a second up on Valentina Hull. The advantage on the big club though. 1.3 still. No room for any mistakes here, Tracy. She needs to be perfect here down. Absolutely, but M Miriam is no stranger to qualifying first and following that up with a win. So she can handle pressure. She knows how to ride the end of the track. And let's just see where she goes in this oh, rock. Through running. the gap there. There's a tiny gap between that big rock <laughs> and the tree there and thread in a needle then. She was fast in there. Surely will have put more time on the clock her way. Bumping through those huge holes. She did mention to me right before, not too long before a run, how the holes have got a massive. 3.7 up, Trey. Sorry, that's huge, though. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. <laughs> well, the outside line working through that little gap there where she threaded the needle, carried good speed on this bottom section. 73 kilometers an hour through the speed trap nearly. But here comes Miriam Nicole, then she's been unstoppable in this last part of the season. Miriam Nicole takes the win in Lenta Heide. 2.6 seconds up. The world champion now extended her lead in this year's World Cup. What a ravain of form. Miriam Nicole is in at the moment. Okay, the fastest qualified, the last man down the mountain today. The winner in Maribor. Fastest in the seat sections, fastest in the fast sections, Loris Vergier. And is that a mistake at the top there? A little while. We don't normally see that from Loris, but, you know, his world championship run here, even though he didn't win in 2018, was one of my favorite runs of all time. I just, like, felt like it was the perfect example of trying to... And he goes way inside, yeah. just like Amari. To be able to do that, it's it's not just everyone sees that line, but to be able to execute it faster is well. Crazy. That's right. Otherwise, everyone would be doing it, right? Yeah. I mean, it is. Oh, you've got to be brave to cut it around the inside there. Such a loose surface. Vergier though, fastest of the first split on this track. Well, how deep he goes there might be an indication of how fast he's going, because he did a lot to scrub it. He squashed it as hard as he could. Yeah. Goes around the rock. Yeah, straight around the outside. 120 for Bruni. Vergier's up though by 0.21. Oh, so Louis Bruni will be holding his breath in the bottom now. And I feel like you know all of these runs have been getting more and more wild. But Loris, just watch how smooth he is. Watch how perfect he is on the brakes here. Look at it. Absolutely. <laughs> just looks makes it look so easy. It does look like he's not trying. Oh, he's lost he over a back. second in that key section, though. But not so much time to the man leading, Louis Bruni, but it's enough to see him go from green to red. Ah, oh, 0.41 for him to find now. Interesting. Is well, he not attacking hard enough? I mean, he went a little bit wide there, but I think he's carrying so much speed, so even if we see him run wide in turns, it's because he's just not hitting the brakes. Doubled through that section. 
It's hard to see how fast he's going. He's so smooth. Quick around there. Hard on the pedals out of it as well then for Loris Vergier. The Two-time junior world champion takes him back green by 600. Oh, my goodness, Elliot. Which way is this one going to go? <laughs> We've seen it before. We can't handle this. <laughs> It's insane, insane, the racing this year. It all comes down to this last two turns. Here he comes then, Loris Vergier. Is it going to be his second World Cup win of the year, or will it be Bruni? Here he comes. It's Vergier. Look at the time. Vergier wins then to Heider. Oh, my goodness. The last man down taking the win. And Bruni there to congratulate him.